Hello folks, and this is Geeky. Uh, since my laptop is working, let's go ahead and get some Army Man done. First one is uh, To the Rooftops. Uh, this is a sniper only mission. Or, I'm sorry, Skyline Views. But anyway, we have to escort a truck uh, through town and uh, pretty much just make sure it gets to the waypoint. Um, those who played Final Front, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that was the intro, and I had to put the intro at the beginning because this took me two takes to do. And I will explain why at the end of this video. But, uh, anyway, we'll go ahead and do it again. I'll skip the intro for you. And now let's go ahead and get into it. As you can see here, uh, Squirrel and Shadow are up here, and actually if you let the if you let it happen, the NPC will shoot. In other words, the other character that you're with, he will shoot at the enemy, but only fire one at a time. Hence what you just saw right there. And when it says, we better make sure we stay ahead of the truck, yada yada yada. In other words, there is a time limit, and if you don't cut and get to the end of the place, the truck will die, and you have to do it again. So, just pretty much you have to bow your way through it. Now, not once, but twice. Uh, the additional gimmick, besides this being sniper territory, is that each of your guys has their own little uh, route. What I mean is enemies who, if you bring shit out first, won't spawn until Squirrel shows up. If you bring Squirrel, then some won't spawn until shit out shows up. Which makes this level a pretty much a joke. And like I said, there is only one auto lose condition in this mission, and I'll, and I'll explain that at the end. But pretty much, as long as you're patient and know what you're doing, as far as just rushing up, uh, this is the same roof patterns as Final Front, and you can see the truck passing below. It's getting shot at by people, so we can kind of play around it. The truck actually has enough health to survive this whole trip, so you don't really need to escort it, but it's fun. If you're a new 100% completionist, but you don't need to. But pretty much, if you've played, like I said, Final Front, uh, the roof patterns are exactly the same, only it's daylight and it's with snipers rather than tanks and mortars. Meaning everything up here is predictable, and everything up here you can set up to do your thing. It isn't too bad of a stage, though. It's just, like I said, it's just too predictable. And here is our... <coughs> excuse me here. This is our game ender right here. This is why I had to do a second attempt. And I will explain that at the end of the, end of the video. But you can actually get yourself caught in to the uh, stairwell there. And unfortunately that means you have to reset your PS1 or PS2 or whatever console you won't have at the moment. I.e. that's a game ender. Also, they're nice enough to give you uh, another a mobile medical kit so you can take your shot, but you only get one medical kit between two characters. And they don't share inventory, so only one person can have the, they have the medical kit, meaning that they intend you to rush to with one guy. Eventually they'll be, they get sneaky and they start putting spawns up for the uh, towers nearby. Like up here, as you see. If you were playing squirrel, they would be active and trying to shoot you. And 
And just for fun, we'll look, take a look at the Tan Fountain. Uh, unfortunately, they just have gibberish there, so there's nothing mentioning there. It would be a nice Easter egg to know if there was actually something intended to be placed there, but there isn't. And now that's when the new game actually decides it wants to pull out his punches. You have a sniper, and you have a couple of guys running right in here. You see, like that guy right there. So you have snipers in the one building, you have two soldiers here, and you got a sniper on each side. So pretty much, this is where you can use your me your mobile med kit, and you just use the cover here, take them out one at a time. See, and now there's two people who spawn behind you, and those are for squirrel, so don't worry about it. That's why I was saying before is they'll, sometimes they'll spawn for Shadow, but they're not really meant for Shadow. They're meant for squirrel. Or they'll be meant for squirrel, but yet spawn on Shadow and whatnot, so you can set yourself up if you play properly. And we're getting, yep, we're at the train now, which is at the end of the map. And this is the game's auto-lose condition if you take too long. Once we clear out all the enemies here. You may notice I picked up some hand grenades earlier in, in the mission. That's what this is for. But we had to clear out our way. And unfortunately, we have the fun texture glitch that I've mentioned throughout other LPs of Army Man, of the or just being just a little bit above what it normally appears to be. And as you see here, there's just two snipers here. You can take them out. And there'll be an additional set that spawns when you play Squirrel, so keep that in mind when you're stashing shit out at the end. Okay, and here's the auto lose condition. If you take too long getting here, or you don't kill this jeep, this jeep will run into the truck, and it'll blow up the truck, meaning you, you have to take this jeep out. Also, depending upon how lucky you are, you can take out the jeep without it uh, firing its machine gun, uh, or it'll shoot its machine gun like it is now. Now that the auto-lose condition is clear, it just has a your partner up, and then there you go. And there's a guy that has a self sun spawn up there for some odd reason. I was a little bit lucky. He could have got set up and killed Squirrel, but he didn't. And remember, be careful of this stairwell when you're coming down. And then there you go. See, as you notice, there's those two guys that was running up when I was playing a Shadow. And they'll sn shoot across the bridge. They're not snipers, they're just regular soldiers. And then there's this one extra guy here who spawned. But we can either kill him or we'll totally ignore him. We'll go ahead and kill him. We've got time. See, enemy AI isn't too bright for some reason. Compared to uh, a couple of the missions. And then there's no one that spawned here. There was two who spawned for Shadow, but there's one who spawned for Squirrel. And there's one who spawned below uh, that wasn't there. And as you notice, Shadow is being engaged by an enemy sniper. And hurrah, let's hop onto the train. The train starts moving. And now we have the game in glitch. If you back off, like this, you're locked into the stairs, and there you go. It considers you a part of the wall, yet you're allowed to walk off stairs. Uh, so th this means that you have to reset your PS1, PS2, or whatever. So that's gaming and glitch number one. And I'll go ahead and call the video, so hopefully you have some fun. Uh, thank you.